Hi, I'm Grace Molesky here with head coach Darren Fisher. Coach, we're getting ready for the first round of sectionals, and the first time we played Columbus East, we won, but our team's a little bit different than it was the first time we played them. How do you think Columbus East is going to adapt to the change? Well, I think, you know, any time we play Columbus East year after year, I think this is probably the seventh or eighth time we've played just in the past uh, seven years. So, um you know we are very familiar with each other, but I, I think I think what happens is in the playoffs anyway. You know when you play somebody twice, it's a matter of how quickly can you make adjustments in the first quarter because you know they obviously you know usually the team that wins the game doesn't adjust too much at all, tries to throw them a wrinkle. Uh, the team that loses the first game knows there's some things they need to change and adjust, and it's just a matter of as a coaching staff identifying what those changes they did make are. I don't know what they are, but we practice every week against everything. So from a defensive standpoint, you know, every formation, everything that we've ever seen from them, uh, we would practice against it offensively, you know, just because they played one style of defense. The first time we played, we're liable to see something different. So have we practiced against everything they could possibly do? Probably. Uh, but again, it's a matter of in the early in the game, identifying which one of those it is. So um, it's a game of adjustments, really, the second time you play somebody. And so this is going to be our second time. The first time, was there any, like, key takeaways, even though we want to just get ready or pay attention to closely uh, the second time we play them? Yeah, I think the first thing is you look at personnel. Yes, we've had some injuries and some changes. Uh, they've got pretty much the same guys that are playing. So uh, are they better than they were nine weeks ago? Absolutely. So are we. Um, you know, but I think there is some tendency things that you can see from a individual matchup standpoint. That's what we've talked to to the guys about is watching the tape making sure that they look at, you know what I mean? If a guy had a great takeoff in the first game, he's going to have a great takeoff this week too. If, you know, if he uh, played underneath blocks the first time we played him, well, he's probably going to do the same thing this time as well. So more of individual matchup things you can take forever. But again, schematically, they're, they're a running football team offensively. Um, and and I, that's what we expect them to come in and do. And, um, you know, they've had some success the last few weeks. They're kind of on a good run like we are. Okay. And we have five players with 40-plus uh, yards. What has led to multiple guys getting um, those big runs? Well, I think, you know, we always talk about, you know, the better, the more we play, the better we get. And I think we faked better. I think we finished plays. We, we you know, we talk about being a six-second player. I think we execute, we fake better. I think we're more unselfish. You know, I told the guys the other day, one of the things that makes this team fun to coach right now is they don't really care who gets the credit. They don't really care. Um, you know, they, they accept their role. They understand their role and they maximize their role. Some guys' roles only in practice, but they're practicing great to get everybody else ready to play on Friday. Some guys' roles are to play 10 plays in passing situations only. Some guys play both ways and play a lot. So I think that's what's happening is our teams become, obviously we execute better, but we've become more unselfish and we maximize our roles a little better. I would say those things probably combine to make that happen. Awesome. Well, good luck this Friday and have fun. Bring home a win. I'm Grace Molesky with Whiteland Beat Sports Network.